Hello and thanks for joining me for the February 2018 Postman news and updates. The best way to stay up to date with the most important things that have changed in the Postman ecosystem in the previous month. Hi, this is Valentine and welcome to another video on Postman, the RESTful API testing tool. If you are new to this channel and want to learn more about Postman testing, continuous integration and much more, the first step is to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you do not miss anything. Okay, now in a few seconds, we'll discuss the following topics and we'll look into Postman version 6, which introduces workspaces. We'll have a look at the Postman community forum and additionally, an update from last month on where you can find pre-existing collections for public APIs. And I will quickly show you the Postman cheat sheet and quick reference guide, all coming up in a second. So recently I've been working on this quick reference guide, which basically includes a cheat sheet. And the main idea is to provide you with some simple solutions really to a lot of the common problems you guys encounter. And I decided to create this guide based on the community input, based on your feedback, and most importantly, based on your problems. So I basically summed up all the different questions that you have asked during the course. And all these questions are in different format, but you will find them here inside this guide. And this is totally free. Uh, you will find a link in the video description in order to download it. And this is still not the final version, final, final version. So for that reason, I'm still looking for input, still looking for feedback. I already got some great feedback, but any input you can give me on this will be more than welcome. So basically, in case you're asking yourself what it includes, we'll have a brief look over the contents. So first of all, it will start with a cheat sheet and that's basically uh, the most important things you need to know about Postman in order to work with scripts. And then we'll look into really concrete solutions and they are basically divided on different categories from how to create different type of requests, how to do more complex assertions, how to do workflows and even some question about continuous integration with human. As you can see, for example, in this image, you will see here very clear examples on, you know, for example, how to set a global variable, how to remove a variable, how to get something from the body or to do some very simple assertions, dynamic variables. So basically, whenever you need to do something and you basically forgot how exactly it's that done, you can just look it in the quick reference guide and we'll find a solution to that. Additionally, the second chapter is the longest chapter because it really includes different problems and different solutions to those problems. So I totally invite you to download it. As I said, link in the description and really give me your feedback, leave a comment and tell me if you like it, if you find this useful, maybe something missing, maybe any input that you have on this case, just let me know. I will be more than happy to incorporate it in a future release. Now moving on to the next topic. If you remember last month, we discussed about the Postman API network, which is basically of collection of public APIs that you can basically just easily import in Postman and get started with it. And I wanted to bring to attention this website, postmancollections.com. This is an unofficial website, but nevertheless, it includes different collections that you can use. And I think the interface is very easy to follow and you can even contribute collections and see pre-existing collections and how they work. So if you're working a lot with public APIs, you may want to add this website to your bookmark so that you don't forget it. In case you're wondering where is the Postman community hanging out, this is one place. It's called the Postman Community Forum and it's basically a forum where users just ask questions respond or help other users you will find some news on postman and a lot of other information that you might find useful if you already have a postman account you can use that account to log into the forum and it's quite nicely integrated have a look at it i find it useful i find it interesting to interact with other people to see what other people are doing what kind of problems do they encounter and stuff like that you'll find a community forum at community.getpostman.com and now let's move on to workspaces. The first and most important feature that is coming with the Postman version 6 release are the workspaces. 
And if you are like me working on different projects or clients all the time, you probably have noticed that when you have over like 20 collections, things start to get a bit messy and it's getting harder to organize things. So when the update to Postman 6 will be officially rolled out, you will have a workspace called My Workspace. But you can create other workspaces as well and move collection between workspaces and get a bit more organized with your collections. I already have created some workspaces, but I can easily show you how you can create a new one. And you will see here right in the middle in the top a new button. And once you click the error, you will be able to see this different types of workspaces that I already have. So for example, I have my my workspace still, but you can add workspaces for for specific clients, for your own personal stuff, for different projects or whatever you think it's best. And you don't have to worry about getting everything right in the first iteration. You can later move collections between workspaces. So basically creating a new one will get you to this button, create new. And let's say I have a cool client and I will create a workspace. And basically when you create a workspace, you will see that you have no collections, no environments, nothing to bother you. And I'll be able to easily switch to another workspace, for example, my personal stuff. And here you'll see I have an environment that the other workspace I didn't have. So basically now everything is more organized and collections, requests, environments, mock servers, monitors, they are all organized inside your collection. Postman introduced like two ways on how you can interact with workspaces. And right here at the button hidden, you will find another option. And now I'm in build mode. But if I click this, I will be able to go in browse mode. And this basically allows me to see inside my workspace, what are the collections that I have? What are the environments that I have? Any monitors, mocks, integrations or stuff like that. And it's another way to basically interact with your request and to get an overview. I personally find the button here below needs some improvement or needs some adjustments. I don't know if this will be the final version of it. Uh, because probably for a lot of you will not be clear that you can switch between all these views. Now, what you can do additionally from here, in case you're wondering, you can rename your workspace. And this is really not intuitive on how you can do it. So again, you have to go in browse mode and then here you'll get the possibility of editing the, rec the workspace name. Now, in case you're wondering how to move collections from one workspace to another, you can use here the add to workspace button. And in this button will let you select from where you want to copy something. So for example, for my workspace, I can get all the collections that I have or one specific, and I can add them to this workspace and they will be automatically moved by Postman. I haven't found a way to actually share the entire workspace as you did in the past with sharing a collection. And it seems that Postman decided to do to make this actually a pro feature. And team workspaces are only available with the Postman Pro account. And basically this will allow you to have a shared workspaces of collections with your team. And it remains to be seen if you can actually still export an entire workspace or something like that. When I will know more on this topic, I will keep you updated and create tutorials and all the information that you need to really take advantage of this new feature. Okay, guys, this is all for February 2018. I hope you find this useful and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more news and updates on Postman. If you want to learn more about Postman and use it at its full potential, I invite you to check out my online course on Postman. I have tried to structure everything you need to know about Postman in an easy to follow online course. There I will take you from learning how to use Postman for creating requests to writing tests, using variables, dealing with authentication and eventually towards using Postman as a solution to fully automate your REST API testing process by using tools such as Newman, Jenkins and any other 
continuous integration tools. During the entire course, I will keep you engaged with quizzes and assignments and provide you personal feedback on how you're doing. Make sure you check this video description for a link and I'm totally looking forward to seeing you inside.